Uh, good morning and welcome to the London EEC. Uh, today I'm just going to show you our interop with our latest ecosystem partner, Fidexio. Uh, and for that I have a, Skype, a, a PC uh, with Outlook and the Fidexio plugin up there. Um, I've also got a group series system. Now if I just uh, show you the interface uh, of the, that's me, that's this. Uh, so this is the touch panel with the meetings on there. You'll see I've scheduled the Videxo meeting already. But I'll just go through that uh, scheduling. And I've also got the, um, the room system that I'm going to invite to that as well, which is that big baby over there, which is a dual screen media line with 17-inch uh, screens. But there you can see the Videxo meeting on the, uh, uh, on the screen itself. If I just bring you back and I'll show you that scheduling experience of how we can create that join box to join the Videxo VMR. So I just clicked here. Uh, to me now. So here I am uh, in Outlook and uh, <coughs> the uh, basically very simple stuff if you're uh, already scheduling meetings you can just add your room systems to that meeting as well as the people that you want to join. Um, so in this instance I'm just going to set up a quick meeting, click the new start the new video meeting button, uh, I'll just bring up the uh, VMR details and it gives you all the joining information from uh, uh, if you've got the client, if you want to join from a web browser, if you want to use Skype for business, um, and also if you want to dial join from an H32, manually dialing into that environment as well uh, for external parties. But if they're in within your own environment, we can create that click to join experience with a, a bit of Polycom uh, workflow server, as we call it, or, or relay server, which takes that meeting invite and creates a, a join one on those various systems. So uh, I'm going to just call invite my collaboration room system. Which um, I just there, there's obviously created that one earlier, um, and that's just going to uh, populate with the information. I'll call this the Bidexio 2 meeting, just so you can see that. Um, and it's going to join uh, the owner's VMR, which is uh, in this instance we've got a, a client here that will join his uh, VMR. And then I just send that out. And uh, you see the Bidexio meeting, and it's substituted for 9.30, so that will populate on the system. So in terms of uh, how long that takes to, uh, to, to appear, um, hopefully by the time I've joined from my client, I'm going to join the Bidexio 2 meeting. Um, so I just uh, click on this, and I'm going to use the web browser for this particular experience. I'm just going to click on that, it's going to open up in the web browser. I'm joining Loops VMR, join through the web browser, and I'm going to join now. And as I'm in the same room, I'm going to mute to my audio so I don't get feedback. But there, there we are, uh, joining the meeting. And I'm just going to fiddle with the uh, camera just to uh, zoom in on the, uh, the control. It's uh, gone to sleep. Now, again, it's going to appear. And it, oh, there you go. Vid 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 Videxio 2 meetings already appeared. So by the time I've been talking, um, it's just populated that. And it just depends how often your, ex your endpoint polls exchange. But, just on your standard uh, exchange rules. But I, in terms of meeting experience, I click join, and that will dial the VMR information, and then you can just hear that joining. And there we go, I'm into the uh, meeting from my PC, my remote client, using the web browser, but also from my room system, using the one-touch dial application, and uh, the interop with uh, uh, latest ecosystem partner, Videxio. Thank you very much. Uh, if you do want to come and see it in action, I'm uh, here all the time, so I'll be uh, more than happy to 